All right, let's see what's going on Twitter. Once again, here's my Twitter. Let's see what's going on. Oh, yes, Super Neptune RPG Limited Edition. That's going to be awesome. All right, let's see what else they have. Let's see. Uh, of course, also in Europe, everybody's winner. Of course, there's... Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. There was a stream on uh, Super Nifty RPG. Cool. Ooh. Azure Lane Crosswave and Azure Lane, basically a collaboration. Cool. Hmm. Something about Anime Expo 2019. Interesting. Oh, cool. I heard there's an update for Super Nifty RPG. One day update patch. Eh. Good, bad, you decide. Mm-hmm, streaming, day, the live reincarnation, hmm. Ah, pretty pictures, lots of anime waifu. Gotta love them. <laughs> Yum. All right, what else going on here? Uh-huh, okay, Super Neptune. Wait, what's going on here? Data live reincarnation heads to PS4 on 7.23 and 7.26 at EU, the stream version will also launch on 7.23. Experience all three date alive titles in one, including Rini Utopia and Arusu installed also included. Wait, wait. 7.23? Was it supposed to be June? Or not, I'll give my theory about it. Hello guys, it's Nato Ace. So, the talks, the reports are true. So, this is going to be a follow-up on my Idea Factory June release games and of course my recent one on Neptunia Shooter, my impression, but basically I talked about how Data Live Rio Incarnation in the MCM London Expo had a poster, had a stand-up that said July 23rd. Well, guess what? <laughs> it is true. Yes. If you've seen the intro of this video, Data Live Rio Incarnation is delayed to July. It's going to be in the PS4 and Switch. In North America, it's going to be the 23rd of July. In Europe, it's the 26th. So, the question here is, what does it mean? Why? What's the reason? Can Idea Factory be transparent? Alright, so, the first thing I'm going to say is, most people are gonna, probably going to say, Oh, the delay. Maybe it's Sony basically forcing more censorship on this game. That may be true. That may be true. And that is a possibility because that's what happened with Seren Kagura burst renewal on the PlayStation 4. It was supposed to come out on November. Then they got some notice that they didn't even know about it. Oh, you got to remove that. So they needed more time to remove it and thus the delay. Could that be possible with Dead Alive Reincarnation? Possibly, but you see, wait a minute, I thought the rule is only 2 CG scene. Well, that's Reincarnation. Remember, they have said this before that Dead Alive in the North American version or outside of Japan, PAL and TSC version, the other two games from the PS3 will also be out. Let's just say that game also has some um, fan service, let's just say. There's... To some extent, maybe steamy, minor, fan service skin, lingerie on high school students, so possibly. So, I'm not saying that it might be Sony censoring it. It is a possibility. I don't want to go there, but we'll just have to wait and see. So, I mean, if it's true, that is kind of utterly shit, excuse the language, but hopefully they do give transparency of why, but... Most reason I'm gonna guess here, and this is probably the most most reason or most common one is they probably needed more time to localize the games 
Remember, they're not just localizing one data live game. They are localizing three data live games. Remember, data live may be from Funimation with English dub. I know the the game doesn't, which is Bummy Out Idea Factory. Crowdfunding paid English dub. Possibly, please. Please, possibly. I'll pay fifty. Sixty dollar for the DLC. I know that sounds stupid, but you get the idea. Anyway, probably they had to look race three games and probably they needed more time so they had to be pushed back interface the coding remember sometimes changing the text from Japanese to English well let's just say it's challenging it's not that easy so maybe that's the reason why they're pushing it back and like I said it won't have English dub so in that part of they're probably gonna be easy for them that would be nice, but probably going to be an update, or it would be nice as an update or a paid DLC. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Crowdfunding DLC, paid the whatever. But back to my main story here is my guess really is that the reason why they're delaying this game is quality for the localization. It is a possibility. It is maybe Sony's censorship, but I don't want to go there. I mean, you can't always be oh Japanese game. Pretty anime girls, waifu, fan service, showing some skin, semi nakedness, lingerie, and all suddenly, oh, so you need censorship. Because remember, the Steam version is not censored. But you might say, well, if it's censorship, then why does the Steam version have to be late? Well, parody. You gotta be parody because you gotta be fair to some extent, kinda like game releases from different retailers or the same goes with games from different system or console or PC or whatever you call it you gotta be parody because you save the Steam first what makes you buy the PS4 version I mean they kinda you remember in the past with the Wii U they had like games that's already been out from the PS3 360 what makes you want to buy it again on the Wii U well no reason Switch in the under, underhand yeah, but that's a different story that has nothing to do with this one. But the bottom line is, Idea Factor International probably want to be parody, so that's the reason. So, once again, yes, Data Live Reincarnation that also comes with the other two games from the PS3. So you get three games for $50, which is kind of good because they're probably lengthy. They are visual novels, so no English dub. They already confirm it. They also confirm that as of right now, two of the scene CG scene will be slightly modified that's what they say and but the problem is it could be only from reincarnation maybe it has something to do with the past game again it's a possibility but I think at this point or in this situation probably not it's more probably they needed more time for localize the game putting all the coding right the text right so it doesn't come out weird because remember there is still Super Nifty RPG which is gonna come out by the end of June. Dragon Star Varnier is going to come out in two weeks or yeah I think it's two weeks basically Dragon Star Varnier is going to come out E3? Is it E3? Let me see. Let me check. Oh shoot. Yeah see that's a problem. Okay so Super Neptune RPG is going to come out in the 25th of June in 28th in Europe. The 28th for Steam I know it's kind of weird there, but Dragon Star Varnier is June 11th, while in Europe it's June 14th. That's E3 week. Dragon Star Varnier is going to be released E3 week. That's crazy for them, but hey, whatever. But still, you got two Idea Factor games coming out this June. And then, so one in July makes sense. And of course, Ark of Alchemist is delayed to winter. No changes as that one, but digital. I did talk about it. If I remember, links on the description box. So, is it kind of bum out that the data live is going to be delayed to July? Again, depends your perspective. If they delayed it because Sony wants more censorship because they're idiots, then yeah, that that was stupid. You mostly when you delay a game to improve the game. So it's, my guess is going to be localization, not censorship, but to improve the localization. Yes, like I said, 
Saturn Kakura Burst Renewal for the PS4 was delayed. It was parodied with the Steam version, and unfortunately, it was delayed because of censorship. And then you might say, well, what about Super Neptunia RPG or in Japan? Brave Neptunia or Brave Neptunia? Was it delayed because of quality insurance? They're trying to improve the game. Yes, it could be also partially also the censorship, but again, no one knows. Uh, maybe they've been they already been censored the, the CGC even prior developing the game. Who knows? But mostly it's gonna be, in my opinion, is quality insurance for localization. That's really it. So good, bad. Well, you decide. But in my opinion. Again, as Miyamoto would say, a delay of a game is good, a bad game will always be a bad game. So chances are to improve the game, the quality of the game. So you have, you know, it worth your $50, you know, whether in the PS4 with Sony censorship or Steam, which is uncensored. So there you go. Well, just have to wait until July. With that, I'll see you guys later.